What's up my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombonist here and I wanted to make this video to share with you on some ways you can practice more effectively. I've discovered from over 30 years of practicing. If you're new here, I have dedicated my life to the trombone. I'm a professional trombone player in Los Angeles. We are one of the first trombone channels on the internet. We've been doing this a while. So let's get right to it. So one of the things that you're going to want to discover with practicing effectively is you got to fall in love with two things. The first thing you need to fall in love with is practicing. You have to love to practice and you have to fall in love with the process of practicing. Second thing that you want to fall in love with is repetition. You better get used to it. You better enjoy repetition because repetition is what allows you to become good at your instrument. It's that focus of repetition and the muscle memory that allows that instrument to become a part of your body. So that's what we want to do. There are a couple of things that I want to talk about in terms of how to best approach the practicing. You're going to find that if you just focus on one thing and practice it over and over and over again until you have it mastered, that you're going to get way more out of that than doing a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, then a little bit there. I'll learn this song. I'll do this thing. I'll do this scale. You're going to find that you're going to grow by leaps and bounds if you do it with the focus of focusing on one aspect and taking it as far as you possibly can. So after over 30 years of practicing, I have discovered that when you do that, you start to reach new levels. And this is what I've been doing recently with my practicing. For example, I may take one chord progression and I may practice navigating through that chord progression and improvising through every angle possible and taking it to all 12 keys and doing it for a month straight. And you're going to find that you're going to get way more out of it because then that's going to start to work its way into all different aspects of your playing. So there's that. The second thing you need to do is in your practice session. Take one concept and don't look at the time. Don't say, I'm going to practice for an hour. I'm going to practice for two hours, three hours. That's not what's going to move the needle. What moves the needle is I'm just going to be focused and I'm only going to be doing this and I'm not going to be distracted by anything else. And when I'm done, I'm done. And when you go in with that attitude, when you practice, watch what happens to your playing. It's pretty fascinating. So let's just take, for example, if I were to demonstrate this in the real world, what I would do is I would take an idea and I would just go through all 12 keys. This is one example. So this is what I would do. I take one example and I go through all 12 keys. After I did that, then I would do it with a backing track. Then after that, I would see where those chord progressions appeared in popular tunes and then apply it to there and then go to more keys and do that. And I would just take it as far as I possibly could with this one concept that I'm working on. And I would do it for a month straight or as long as I needed to until I felt really comfortable with it and before moving on to something else. So here's an example. So I'm just taking one little idea and I'm moving through all the 12 keys. So what the amateur practicer would do is they would just take that idea and learn it in the one key. But what the musician that's taking things as far as they possibly can and is going to get the most out of it, they're going to take it through all 12 keys and see where they can incorporate it. This is just one example. You can do this for time feel. You can just say, hey, I'm just going to work on time feel and you're just going to do it on one note. And you're going to have a nice little metronome on there. You're going to record yourself and you're going to make sure that it sounds good and it sounds solid. And you're going to listen back to yourself and you're just going to go in with, I'm not going to do anything else until my time is good. I'm not going to do anything else until I have a good sense of rhythm. And you're just going to play with it. <laughs> Practice your time feel, and that's your only goal for practicing. And you're like, this month I'm only going to do time feel, and I'm just going to make sure it's as good as possible. And I'm going to record myself, I'm going to do all different tempos, all different styles, make sure that I have a real nice, solid command of the rhythm. So, this is the way you got to start looking at the practice sessions. You're going to get way more out of it when you just focus on that. So, instead of like working on like tons of different tunes, you just pick one tune and you take it as far as you possibly can with that one tune. I'm going to work on this tune, I'm going to slow it down, I'm going to Work on it as a ballad first, really slow so I can really get inside of it. And then when I start to do it at the normal tempo, it starts to feel really comfortable. So if we were to review everything we're talking about here, a couple things. First, now you know that you need to fall in love with practicing. You got to love it. You got to treat it like meditation. You got to realize that it's going to relax you and set you up for a, a nice day. That's how I like to think about practicing. I like to think about it as a way to relax, unwind, focus. And when I do that, I feel really good about the day when I get a nice session in. And you can tell 
When you're practicing correctly, it feels like you're struggling. It shouldn't sound amazing. You should sound like not good. That means you're learning. A lot of people, they wanna try to press the people around them that may be listening. So they try to play everything they already know, but you already know it. It's good to brush up on it once in a while, but you already know it. So we wanna explore areas that aren't comfortable. So it should sound like you're struggling. That's why I recommend to, if you can, practice in a place where there's no one around so you can't have that unconscious bias about other people listening to you while you practice, okay? Another thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna record yourself when you practice. You're gonna wanna record yourself when you practice and you're gonna wanna listen back. The great Hal Crook told me that if you were to study photography, would you take a bunch of photos and not develop the film? Well, it's the same when you're working on your ability as a musician. We need to develop the film, and the way to develop the film is to record yourself, okay? And what you're gonna find that you start getting better, like way faster. So this is how I've been practicing lately. I've been taking like one tune. So I've been working on the guitar, I've been practicing on the guitar and I'm just taking one tune and I'm like going in and out in the one tune as much as I possibly can for a month straight. And I don't even do anything else. I'm just working on the one tune, just getting it under my fingers, making sure it's cool and that's good. On the trombone, I'm taking some licks and all the 12 keys. And then I'm not gonna do anything else until those feel really good. I mean, really good. I mean, to the point where you're not even thinking where it's just like talking you don't even think about it that's when you know something you know you got to trust how your body's responding how is your body reacting is your body actually comfortable here or is there a little bit of a delay and if you don't get it every time there's a delay it's not a part of you you know it's a part of you you know you've internalized it when you don't even think about it and you shouldn't have to brush up on, oh, how does that go again? And then work it out in the future. That means you don't know well enough. If you do something over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again, that's the repetition I was talking about. You got to fall in love with repetition. If you do it hundreds of times, you're never going to forget it for the rest of your life. So you have to fall in love with practicing and you have to fall in love with repetition. So if you found value in this video in any way, shape or form, all I ask is for a little like and a subscribe. I really appreciate you all so much. We're on our mission to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're halfway there. We're over halfway there. And I really appreciate it all and if you want to go on this journey of music with me we would love to have you here and leave a little comment in there and if you found value in this video you're going to find a lot of value in this video here that i put right here so watch this video after you watch this video and you're going to get some more value so paula trombonis and i appreciate you signing off